hello friends in this video i will talk about pixel and strip detectors in high energy physics experiments uh, this is a follow up of my previous video on pixel detectors so pixel detectors so pixel detectors are used to measure the position of particle with an uncertainty of typically of the order of micrometer because pixel size is of the order of micrometer so this is an event display which is showing the pp collision proton proton collision at 13 tb using pythiaid so we have many layers of uh, pixel detectors this is called small box describing the pixels all along the uh, geometry you have the pixels so uh, one more thing you can notice from here uh, that the density of the particle uh, around the collision point is very uh, large so we want pixel size as small as possible to avoid uh, hitting two particles the same pixel uh, we don't want uh, two particles hit the same pixel so we also evaluate the heat occupancy with uh, number of fired pixel divided by total pixels for each layer and we keep this occupancy as small as possible like typically less than five percent and depends on the experiment uh, what they allow uh, and the requirements so in 3d pixels looks like this uh, i already explained in my previous video uh, if you just see from the top uh, it will look like this uh, you will have uh, many square pixels uh, so you can just see a simple geometry of pixels you will have a four, you will, let's say we have a four pixel in this direction four pixel in this direction and each pixel has a channel uh, which will collect the charge created by the particle so we will have uh, in this case uh, 4 is square means 16 channel in general if you have n pixel in this direction n pixel in this direction then we will have uh, n square channel now we can merge these two pixels this direction uh, in this direction and uh, in this case uh, the geometry will be like this you will have uh, this dimension larger and this dimension similar to the previous one so in this case if you measure the position by using this this is called typically rectangular pixels uh, in this case uh, if you measure the position of the particle your uncertainty in this direction will be of the order of mm, mm, similar than the uh, of the order of uh, same uh, what we are getting previously uh, but in this case your uncertainty will increase uh, but the advantage will be here your number of uh, uh, channels will be reduced basically will be the half because you are merging these two pixels so it will the, it will become lesser pixels and uh, you have a less number of channels now you can make it uh, further bigger uh, there it comes the concept of uh, single sided strip detectors so single sided strip detectors in one dimension we have a uh, typically of the order of centimeter and other dimension of typically of the order of mic micrometer so in this case if you measure the particle position in this so in this case your uncertainty in the uh, in the x direction will be of the order of centimeter in the y direction it will be the order of micrometer so in the one coordinate if we use it this this particular configuration to measure the position of particle your one co in the uh, one coordinate with the small error uh, and the in the other direction your error will be uh, very large and uh, you will have a problem with the in the large occupancy regions uh, your many particle can hit this uh, same strip because uh, your strip size is larger in this direction many particle can hit uh, the same uh, strip and uh, the good point is that we will have a uh, less number of channels like here we will have only four channels in this case and in general we will have if we have n strips we will have n channels and uh, your capacitance will be larger and uh, your uh, capacitive noise will increase uh, because the area is larger and uh, the negative point we got here is that uh, in one dimension we will have uh, uncertain very large uncertainty so we will try to reduce that uh, negative point here so we we, we, we will use two single sided strip detectors uh, one in this di in the along the y direction another 
uh, back to back at uh, 90 degrees we can use these two single sided strip detector to measure the position of the particle if we measure the position of particle in this case we will measure this direct in this direction uh, the coordinate using this strip then in this case the uncertain we will measure uh, uh, in this this uncertainty will be of the order of micrometer and in this direction we will measure uh, uh, the using this particular detector then then the, in this direction again the uncertainty will be of the order of micrometer so in this case the uncertainty in both direction is of the order of micrometer uh, so now we will have uh, we can use the two strip detectors single sided strip detectors to measure the position of particle and the uncertainty is of the order typically of the micrometer and uh, we will have the less number of channels like uh, less channel uh, but larger than the previous one uh, we will have just double double uh, two times of the previous one basically here we have five channels from this and five channels from this so we will have 10 channel in general we will have uh, two n channels two times of uh, uh, number of strips and the uh, capacitance uh, is larger of course because uh, your area is larger and uh, here we are using the two detectors because if you have thickness here x then we are we are using two times of uh, x so thickness so we will have a larger material budget and uh, there's also problem of course is uh, if we have two particle if two particle hits at the same time uh, in this particular geometry where we have uh, at the 90 degrees the strips uh, then if you hit this is the two two hits if two particle hits at the same time then if you reconstruct the hit you will get uh, two fake hits uh, this I will show in the next uh, uh, in the next page uh, so what will happen uh, in this particular geometry we will have uh, uh, steps back to back at 90 degrees so let's say if you hit the two particle uh, at the same time so we will get the two hit here and uh, when we are reconstructing it this this uh, particular hit will give the signal on on this whole strip and uh, this will give the signal on whole strip this and also on the bottom strips uh, because it's uh, we are putting back to back so it will also give the signal on this strip and also this will also give the signal on the bottom strip so the only strips will be remaining for if you just see the intersection point then really we, we will have only two two true hits but when we are reconstructing the intersection point of the strips we will get uh, the four hits so two these uh, circles showing the fake hits so if you have three simultaneously hits in this in this configuration then what will be happen uh, you will you can just uh, remove the other strips the only keep uh, the fired strip then then you can see that uh, you will have the six in uh, this in this case the six fake intersection points one two three four five six uh, so in general in this configuration we will have uh, n square minus n fake hits or which we call typically ghost hits uh, or uh, this is uh, the uh, main problem in this particular configuration so uh, here one more thing we noticed that uh, uh, yeah, our material budget is increased in this part if we use the two single sided strip detectors uh, then there is a, a more compact way to do this now we can e put the two both strips on the same sensor uh, one at the top uh, at and uh, the other at the bottom this comes the then it comes the concept of double sided st uh, strip detector so it can also provide the two coordinate uh, when a charged particle passes it it uh, creates the electron hole pairs one signal we one position we will get uh, from the uh, holes another position we will get from the electron signal uh, so we can get the two coordinates in this case the material budget will be smaller uh, because uh, we are using just uh, one one layer and uh, we will have uh, less channels like uh, than the pixels two times of n and if you have any strips in this direction 
and then this in this, this direction then we will have uh, two times of uh, n channels and then capacitance uh, of course will be larger because your area is larger uh, of the strip is larger and uh, the next uh, what we can do here in this case uh, to avoid the to minimize the ghosts uh, we also use these types of geometry so we will have a uh, let's say on on the bottom we will have let's say in this case we have some strips on the bottom and the top we can skew these strips with respect to bottom strips by some angle to minimize the um, uh, fake hits or ghost hits so you can see here let's say uh, in this configuration two particle hits simultaneously then you just keep only the i will keep this strip and i will also keep this strip and in this case it, this will give the signal on this strip uh, this particular strip and this strip so if you keep these strips now you can see the intersection point the this is the true intersection point correspond to the true hit and uh, you can see that the two fake hits uh, still there is two fake hits uh, but if you have one particle from here and another particle hitting here uh, at the same time then if you have two particles in this configuration uh, then the two hits you can see here if you just uh, remove all the all the all the strips which are not fired then you can see that in this case uh, we don't have uh, we have only two intersection points so if we can uh, if we tilt the if we skew the strips uh, top and bottom uh, with respect to some angle some minimum some small angle then you can just see that the uh, uh, fake hits are rec uh, reduced so we can minimize this angle to reduce the fake hits uh, so that's why we in the in in many experiments we use double sided strip detectors uh, with some angles between uh, top and bottom strips to minimize the uh, fake hits uh, basically okay thank you